shit. Fuck ass. Shit. Let's get Malacca. See you next Tuesday. Dick. Motherfucking swear word. Fuck, basically. If you haven't guessed now, the subject is about swearing. Hey YouTubers, Becky here, good old Mum's Witch again for another Toya's tirade. Hi guys, it's Sophia. Hi, my name's Bex. Hi everyone, DSM here. Hi guys, I'm Caitlin. Hey guys, it's Kitty Kiwa here. Hi, I'm Becky for Toya's tirades. Hello, I'm Hayley Tink of Pixie Dust. Hi, I'm Holly and I love swearing. Hello everyone and welcome to another Toya's tirade. Now, swear words isn't a modern word it actually dated back like centuries ago before we came to this era of globalization. Who decided that the word shit was obscene? Like, there are so many words in the human language, like English and otherwise. The English language. Yay. That people consider worse than others, that people like over others, people use, you know, preferentially, differentially, whateverentially. And um, someone, somewhere out there decided that word's naughty. There's a couple things that come into my mind when I think of swear words. And the first thing is, I do not swear in front of my elders. That is something I just don't do. I find it very disrespectful. I mean, even though they swear, they swear a fucking lot. Like, but I feel like they've earned that because they put up with me as a child. And I'm sure as a child, I... I created a lot of need for swear words. <laughs> so my opinion on swear words is that it doesn't really bother me. A lot of my friends use it, I use it, even my parents sometimes. It's just something casual in my opinion to express, express anger or frustration most likely. There's, I'm one of those people that you, who, if you just go and tirade of swear words, I will, I will be very tempted to physically hurl a copy of Roger's thesaurus sent you. Indeed. Is it bad? I don't know. I f really think it's just words and we're offended by silly things which were uh, created um, many years ago to be obscene really and they've kind of lost their meaning. It's kind of difficult for me to talk about swear words because I don't actually want to say them out loud. Creative swearing and intelligent swearing is kind of one of the things that can make me laugh the most uh, whereas you know if you're swearing every other word it's a bit meh it's what's the point swearing something that we've been doing for freaking ever so to me personally i'm not majorly offended if i hear someone swear i think that personally i do swear i'll hold my hands up to that if I had a swear word around my house, it'd probably be full by now. Um, swear words. I think that in some cases, swear words are necessary. Like everyone else, people think that swear words are for gangsters, they are rude, they are not supposed to be used in like everyday life, especially the in front of your children. Now, it can be difficult, especially when you've got little ones in the house and whatever, I'm quite lucky. Um, I don't have any kids. It's when I get told it's not ladylike. Um, I grew up in a house which is mostly men, and you know, my brothers swear and my dad swear. You know, they're not like freaking sailors or potty mouths about it. It's just they swear probably the average amount that a person would swear. But I remember I'd see them swear, and you know, they'd get the odd telling off. And I would get told off because it wasn't ladylike of me to swear. And I was like, I wasn't aware saying fuck gave me a penis. It's more words in the English language than that. But that might be my upbringing where um, we were told that we can be strong and independent and all that. And then suddenly we drop the wrong word and it's, oh, that's not ladylike. Women swear just as much as men. Not even in the look at me, look at me swearing, look at me doing a thing that's so commonly associated with men. It's just part of speech. Or at least that's how it is to me. And so when someone will be like, oh, it's not ladylike of you to swear, or you shouldn't be swearing, you're a lady, I instantly just want to turn to them and go, fuck off. I don't have an, such an issue with swear words, but there are some that make my skin crawl. For example, see you next Tuesday. I have a real issue with that one. Some people can just say it and it not mean anything, but to me it's like, you can't say it. If you call somebody that, it's just like, hold on a second. The F word. 
obviously. Um, quite a lot of people think that that's probably about the strongest swear word they'd use in public. There is the uh, see you next Tuesday word, of course, um, which isn't a word that I tend to use um, unless I'm really quite hacked off. I guess there are some that you think, oh my god, did they really just say that? Um, things like fuck and shit and, and, and the C word, which I, I'm recording this with my best friend in the room and I know she hates that word, so I'm not gonna use it. I don't tend to like that word, although I think that's partially her rubbing off on me. There are words that I like to use, there are words that I use less, and there are words that I cannot stand. Now one of them is the C word. No, I do not mean Christmas, I do not mean cake. I refer to the one that the Americans appear to love and use it all the time in shows like Orange is the New Black. Um, I don't like it, stop using it, it's horrible, okay bye. I cannot say the see you next Tuesday word because I think it's grim. Whereas my auntie on the other hand will freely say, oh no I've gone the cunt's way. And I go, I can't say that, it's got to be the Deborah's way because that's who my auntie is, Deborah. And yeah, I can't actually say it whereas I just did that. Swearing kind of loses its magic if you do it every other word because you're not making any impact. The most harsher ones, like the C word and uh, MF words and all that, I basically, if I've said them, look skyward and hear for hoofs. The first time our old neighbour came into our flat, um, we were just chatting and she casually slipped in the C word. Now, neither of us find this offensive, but we both thought it was really ballsy that the first time she came into someone's home, not knowing their level of swearing, just dropped what is considered the worst swear word. The big C word is defamatory to my genitalia and to my gender. And that C word, you, deep, you, you, you are depowering me. You know, it is quite offensive and, you know, there are plethora of swear words in this world. And, you know, a lot of them, you know, you can make up yourself, you know. Or if you're trying to curb swear and you could say other words instead. Sometimes if I'm in a social situation and I, I'd like to not swear because there are kids about or what have you, I'll use words in like other languages, like shysa for one. Myself, I tend to swear in different languages. And sometimes it can be quite humorous to do that, you know, like in Malacca and you know, Julashvinya is not really a swear word to learn, but it is quite an insult, it's a mean stupid peak. So when you learn a new language, what's the first thing you learn, right? Because for me, I can guarantee you that I'll pick up swear words more, you know, pick up swear words faster than um, where is the toilet or this is the pen of my aunt. After a while, if you get a whole bunch of teenagers kind of mixed in with each other, we're gonna start learning swear words in the language. And that's what happened. And when I came back, I still said some things in Korean because I was so used to it. Um, and there's one word, that is my favorite word, that we all kind of said a lot, and that was shibon. Shibon. And that means fuck. And that's a lot of people's favorite swear word. That's my favorite swear word. I say fuck a lot. One of the first things I learned when the Polish came to work with us was KULWA MACH! Maybe because that's what they said all the time. I don't know. And that's something else that I find quite interesting, you know? Um, the disparity and the, the similarities between different languages. Like, we say twat, Americans say twat. No, we say twat hammer, they say twat waffle. We'll say words like bollocks, bloody and blimey. Oh blimey and bloody hell and bastard. Um, they are my favourite words. Different degrees of, of severity there. Um, Americans will say god damn, that's quite popular over there. You know a swear word in Chinese. But in some ways I think it is easier because you can swear and then no one will know you're swearing, which is great. Especially if you're like in school, in college or workplace. But then again, if you go to someone and they speak the same language, it can be a bit of a problem. But yeah, I think I do find it easier to swear in a different language. I don't go out my way to learn it, but I just learn it because it's part of my culture. And if I really want to substitute things out, I've got I've got a few fabulous phrases like wood monkey, twat hammer, massive plate of bollocks, anus cake. They're all quite fun. To me, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter if it, if it's for those kind of people, actually everyone swears in your life 
at least some point of your life you did swear in front of your mom or your dad or maybe you swear in front of your friends, your girlfriend or whatever. But yeah, it's just kind of a really bad habit for me that I just constantly say say it when I get angry or upset at something or even if I'm just talking normally. If you're swearing just for the sake of swearing then you're gonna look a bit of an ass. I don't see any particular ones worse than others unless they are of a racist context like nigger. The n-word is very one of those words that you're like, <sighs> like you kind of want to stay away from. Stuff like that but once again if you're saying it jokingly that's fine but if you are saying it to cause someone harm then that's not okay. This I believe is due to the past, like the history that is attached to the word because it used to be used in offense to colored people and I think it's because it's such a word attached to slavery that is a very, it's a very word very much I can't talk. And that, that, that doesn't just go for the M word, it also goes for race, racism against white people or, or Asians or what have you. Things like honky or towel head or other imaginative things. Um, I think those words are worse than words relating to either gender specific orifices or um, things people do. I think those words are worse because they're inflicting something against someone's being that they have no control over. I mean, none of us choose to be born whatever colour we are. Uh, none of us choose to be born whatever gender we are. So using words that make that derogatory, I think is out of line. One of those words that's kind of like, whoa. Um, although a lot of people, like some people do use it as a term, just saying like, what's up my brother? But um, most Times it's really not okay to use that word. I don't even feel comfortable voicing the word myself right now. The N word goes. Um, I think that's a very different um, sort of taboo word rather than the F word and other things like that because it's more discriminatory. It's more sort of racist. I think that's the issue, that, that is my defining point between a swear word and something that is completely different. It's, it's racist because it's to a certain group of people, whereas the other swear words, they're more sort of general, they're not pointed at one person. The, the whole open-minded attitude isn't going to come around the corner tomorrow. It, it's more, I think we, at the end of the day we need to teach people that these are just words and that they could easily be broken down just through a string of letters and a string of, of sounds that we've been making since we were born. It's the meaning behind the word. It, it's, it's the intention, it's the intent of the word that's offensive, not the word itself. You could, you could look at somebody who was a different skin colour to you or a different religion or a different gender to you and use the same word for all of them with sheer malice and they would think, what the, why the fuck are they calling me a cupboard? The cruelty and intention behind words should be the thing that is offensive and not the word itself because you can be an absolute monster with what you're saying and not swear but if you drop the C word into a sentence that's harmless you can offend so many people. And more importantly it just divides people. We, the world is fucked up enough as it is, we don't need to divide people anymore. That's why I believe that racial slurs are far worse than than words about reproductive actions. I think the offence is taken by the individual, not how things are said. So if I go, oh, you bastard, you know I don't actually mean it. But if you take offence to that, I'm sorry. It's more powerful than in the negative and defensive side. And when people talk about it, you should think about it because Sometimes when you want to like tell that person that you're doing it wrong or maybe you want to just shout it out because you know that that person does it wrong and you think like you you keep on telling them but they don't understand, they don't want to listen. So I think it's much more of an expressible word. Like this guy at a hostel once moved my stuff and I told him not to and he called me disrespectful and told me to shut the fuck up and I nearly knocked him out but I thought I'm not gonna stoop to your level. But seriously, it makes me angry. Bitch, I hate the word. 
when it relates to women or men that are seen as weak. Um, this has been used by misogynists and abusers everywhere and I feel it's terrible how we women think claiming this word that was used against us empowers us. No, it enables them, if you ask me, it enables them. Use it in its proper context. Unless you're talking about a female dog, don't use the word in that context. That's all I've got to say. I know I said I don't really find some swear words worse than others, but I don't know why, but I've always hated the word bitch. Like, this is my bitch, me and my bitches. Oh, you're such a bitch. Like, sometimes I'll be in an argument and someone will call me a bitch, and I, I don't know why, but it'll make me really angry. I think to me it's because bitch is, it's a swear word referring to somebody who's petty and, and, and you know, and catty and, you know, just vicious and venomous, but in a really sort of childish way. That's how I see it. And I don't like being perceived as any of those things. I'm worth so much more than that. Swearing is amazing. It registers in the emotional part of the brain rather than the language part. Science. You will occasionally like stub your toe and say shit from time to time, you know. But, you know, it's not a severe swear word in this day and age. You're angry, you're frustrated, or you're sad, you're mad, you're happy. And that's just what the point of swear words are. Um, it's much more of a way to express yourself, not only just yourself online, but also to other people in communities and everywhere around the world. Swearing is usually an expression of anger and rage and it's my, and hate. And it also helps you deal with pain. Those who swear when experiencing pain can deal with more than those who don't swear. Like I say, there are some sort of instances where, you know, I'm pretty sure a woman in labour, you know, I'm pretty sure there's many videos of women in labour and she's shouting, get that bloody drugs in, you know, sort of thing, you know, it's fair enough. No swear words cause me any particular I don't really care as long as someone just doesn't use it in harm towards someone else. But honestly, to me, swear words are just words. It's not like if you say fuck or shit, like you're taking a knife and stabbing it into someone's stomach and making their guts bleed out. Like, it's nothing like that. It's just you're saying a word. And I guess I understand why some people are like, oh my, when they hear swear words because it's been brought up to be very vulgar. But honestly, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I think I'm okay with, with swear words. I think people tend to use them as a form of expression. And I think it's more apparent sort of these days than it was, say like in my grandma's uh, generation. Um, it was, it's more accepted. Whereas I think if you said it back in that generation, you would be sort of like locked up and never seen again kind of thing. Sometimes it's not necessarily what you say, it's it's how you say it. For example, you can be like, oh, you're such a twat and it'll be fine. Or you can be like, you absolute table. What even do you think you were doing? You bloody door. And you know, you could mean, or you could do that. <laughs> So yeah, I think other words with, you know, said with a similar venom could have exactly the same impact as words that um, society is already defined as negative. And I heard on the Smurfs the other day, was well, Smurf you! So, you know, even if you change what you're meant to be saying, it still sounds the same. I'm not going to be majorly offended if you swear at me unless you're doing it with the full intent of pissing me off. Because then you probably will. Because I'll be like, what have I done? There isn't a single word specifically that will cause me offence. If you're being a dick to me and you use swear words, I'm going to be upset, but that's because you're being a dick and not because you're swearing. To me, actually, a lot of people say um, you should bleep out the swear words in even the entertainment industry or any other YouTube video because, you know, you will be like scared that you're kids will catch up that word and will say it in front of you. Actually, it's pretty normal. You don't have to like bleep it out because even kids nowadays know what the swear words are. Kids and swearing, oh, please, please. They've got, they've got a whole life to learn those words all by themselves, you know? 
I'm not saying encourage a five-year-old to drop the F-bomb every other day. If I had, you know, some children around my house, I wouldn't swear around them. Quite simply because it's like, well, you know, just because adults do do it, and quite often they will pick up on the fact that adults do do it, but there's an element of, you know, you are a child, you should not swear. At that age, my mum thought saying the word sod to a chicken was pushing it, you know? We used to keep chickens. Um, and we were feeding them, and one came up and tried to peck me, and I was like, oh, you sod! You know, at the age of eight or what have you, and um, mum was like, that's naughty! And I was like, bugger was another swear word that um, we thought was really naughty when we were kids, and as we got older, you know, you realise that it's not necessarily the word that's naughty, it's the meaning behind it. I just think it's sort of a slang for, you know, adding a bit of oomph to sentence. But yeah, it doesn't bother me as long as it's not used in direct harm to cause someone else emotional sort of pain, like if you're insulting someone or something. So yeah, that's my opinion on swear words. People like me shouldn't get all elitist about language. That was actually because of archers. They used to get these fingers cut off and the archers who didn't have their fingers cut off used to go that to prove that they didn't have their fingers cut off so it actually means ha I've still got my fingers it doesn't mean fuck you so uh, yeah that's me I've been Hayley of Pixie Dust thank you for joining me on my uh, swearingness swearing is an interesting way of measuring relationships when I first met my boyfriend we both curbed our swearing but then once you're, you've got to know someone and you're comfortable with them and you know what they're comfortable with, um, it's, it's one of the things that comes out. So I think in today's society people are a lot more sort of um, accepting of it. It doesn't bother them so much. Um, which is, is sad really in a way because swear words are a big sort of, a big part of our communication. They would know what, when we should use it and what is the meaning of it so that they won't get confused and might swear, swear it behind your back. And that is actually my opinion about swear words. So thank you guys for having me on Tire Surats and I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta! Yeah, swear it. It sucks sometimes and it's good for you sometimes and you know, that's the way the world works. But yeah, I don't think kids should swear. Have fun YouTubers and uh, yeah, have lots of fun. Bye! How would we communicate if swear words didn't exist kind of thing? Um, so I will just leave you with that one to think about. And the next time you swear in a sentence, just think about, you know, what would you have done if swear words didn't, didn't exist? Some people just need to say fuck sometimes. Thanks again for joining in. And remember, rate, comment, subscribe. Why? Because your mum said so. Sure, I will be posting again. Um, see you soon. Bye bye. Yeah, don't be a dick. Just. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for listening to me ramble once again. I have been DSM, and you guys have been fabulous as always. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one because this was kind of interesting to think about and talk on, and kind of fun because. Swear words. Thank you again, Toya. I really enjoyed this one. Hopefully, I see you guys on the next one. But yeah, I love talking with everybody on here. And yeah, okay, bye. Thank you very much for listening. I'm sure it's been a little bit of a giggle. I don't know. I don't actually know what other people have said yet. And I shall see you guys in the next tirade.